What's up guys, Dan Mike from Mindful Swan and today I will not be doing a let's play, I'll just be showing you guys how to download Black Eyes mod. So what you do is you find the mod on the website, I've included a link in the description, and you go to downloads. Now I don't mean to make you guys sound like an idiot or anything, oh, Java needs to update. Thank you Java for sharing that with us, okay. <laughs> um, My Black Eyes is actually out of date, I was using this one here but right when I went to record this episode, I uh, uh, record this tutorial, it apparently says that there's an update out, so we'll click on that. Um, yours may be slightly different to mine, but we'll click download now. Click download. Right, now we wait for it to download. So what happens is with the, oh my god, allow. I'm pretty sure I didn't click two. Okay, so it's going to take an hour to download, so it will yeah, take a sweet time to download but when you come to install it for example I will actually use one of my old black ice mods so I'll just now me to get it I've actually dragged into my steam what you do pretty much um, what I do all the time is when you download a mod you drag the installer and if it's a WinRAR file you drag all that over into the um, mod I mean into the game that you want mod so we go that's fine like files so the here we are so the installer would look like this so you've dragged it here make sure it is in the steam steam apps common hearts fine 3 or if you don't want to do that long way you go to your steam library right click properties and then local files and browse local files so once you've done that you scroll down the list until you find the main installer which is this one um, pretty sure it doesn't appear as being black ice, but anyways, just make sure that's the right one. So let's click on it. It should do a thing that we flicker load thing. What's it doing? <laughs> it's, it's doing something. Uh, close that. Um, okay, here we are. So you have to do all these property things next. Okay, so what happens when you get to the screen? You go program files. Make sure, okay, don't try to add it to any new files because that's why I did when I first did it. Um, make sure it's the same file that you click the installer in next, and it will make a brand new folder. So install. So it will make its own, the finest hour mod, black ice. Um, if you don't have the finest hour, then hopefully it will still just make the finest hour mod for you. But if not, <laughs> it will. We can't do its thing, so we'll just wait here for a bit. Um, this will be actually a perfect time for me to scroll through my list and attempt to promote some games. So, the games I have on offer are some Amnesia the Dark Descent, Armor 2, okay, you guys probably don't want to watch any armor. Armor 3, you guys don't want to watch any armor. Um, Crusade Kings, as long as I love Paradox games, I think maybe in the future play some Crusade Kings. Um, some Europa. Uh, what else is there? I have some Far Cry, Fallout 3. Um, this weekend I will be making a new Let's Play series on Foul Play with Night Jade, which is a cute moose who has just changed her, prof her YouTube profile. Um, so Fast and Light. Uh, yep. Guild 2, Kerbal Space Program. I don't know if it's Kerbal Cabal. It's quite strange. Um, I, can, I can never seem to pronounce it. Uh, Let's see, Paper Please, Payday 2. Okay, if you scroll down the list, this is a game that, if you remember way back in my early um, episodes of Let's Plays, I really wanted to use this game for something um, to do a Let's Play on. So it's finally been optimized for me. I mean, for, <laughs> for not for me, for um, the use of normal shit <laughs> not what am i trying to say normal state of uh, what am i saying optimized from the video drivers that's it so now there's a tiny bit of lag but it's you won't notice it um okay so seeing as if i've already done all this before i'm just going to cancel it okay so bit of not to leave my their files okay so if i go their finest hour mod in here it will pop up with three files. You have a black ice file, black ice mod, and a readme. Which I think is from the black ice. No, it's not. Keep the readme in there. So once you've done that, you click black ice, should all be there. Yep, and it is all there. 
So now if you want to launch it, you go scroll down here and what would have done is made a shortcut, just the black ice. Um, yep. So you click on the black ice by panzeru.exe. Uh, double click on that. I'm, I'm really scared that this may crash my recorder, so let's give it a try. And a command screen will pop up and without much ado, much further ado, it will do its clicky clack thing. And there you have it, that's how you'll get to work. So what you do is you go mod db, you click download, you install it, uh, make, oh hold on, you install it, you drag it to the, uh, before, uh, my bad, you go to mod db, download, and then you drag the installer into the Heartsfire 3 vanilla folder, and then we'll create a their fine style fo uh, folder if you don't have it already, I believe. Uh, you click mod, and you should get all to work. So thank you, and I'll see you next time. And it's not stopping for me. Alt P. Okay.